Hi, this is Cass from Aussie Cass Plays, and welcome to part 11 of my Haunted House Flipper Challenge. Now, I saved after the last part basically straight away because I figured I'd wait and see what you guys thought of the whole do we cheat temperance into the family thing and it's easier to do it while she's still here so she hasn't actually left yet and the consensus from the comments was yes we should cheat her in so I'm gonna assuming she doesn't just despawn Poppy get out of bed oh my gosh she smells Poppy get up no you she's gonna leave Right, well, I can't have that. So I was going to have Happy Poppy, like, give her a gift and say, hey, do you want to move in? So I guess I'll just cheat her in. Now, I did a little bit of research for your information. Temperance and Kidri don't work like normal ghosts. You can't, without cheats, resurrect them. I had a feeling this was the case because I was playing, like, in an off-camera save a while ago and the character that I put in a haunted house was actually a fully skilled out spellcaster. So she had the spell that lets you revive a ghost and I cast it on Temperance to see what would happen and she was still a ghost she was just a full color ghost sort of like what we saw in the last part but I think a bit more detailed now there is a way to do it with MC Command Center and possibly other mods but MC Command Center but for story purposes I'm going to go through one of the processes to revive her and then when it doesn't work because it won't We'll take the, we'll use the cheat. So for your information, they have a special NPC trait that makes them act like a ghost and presumably is the thing that also makes her angry. And Gidri is the same. So he's got a trait called Gidri. She's got a trait called Temperance. Once you remove that trait, the game will automatically generate a new Gidri or Temperance to haunt your haunted houses. So I actually was thinking that It'd be really cute to remove the haunted lot trait at the point where we bring Temperance back to life. I mean, it makes sense. She's the one haunting the house. So if she's not Temperance anymore, like the thing that makes her Temperance and makes her the, haunt the house be haunted, the house isn't haunted and then the game won't spawn a new Temperance because otherwise we're going to have two Temperances wandering around. It's going to be very confusing. So... <laughs> I'm not really up for that. So that's my plan, just so you know. But I still have to, there are like three ways I can think of to revive a ghost. There's having a maxed out spellcaster with that spell. Yeah, obviously that's an option as we do have Grace in the house. The second option is to learn to make ambrosia, which is, uh, I think you need a death flower and an angel fish. And I want to say like maxed out gourmet and homestyle cooking. I could be wrong about that. I haven't actually, I don't even actually think I've ever done it in game because there are easier ways to revive someone. And the third option is a wishing well. So if you make a sufficient size donation to a wishing well and then the ghost wishes to be alive again, the wishing well in theory can bring them back to life. Those are our three choices. The wishing well is probably the easiest in a way because we do seem to be able to get hold of money reasonably easily. Grace is not a very advanced spellcaster. She is, I think, in fact, not advanced at all. I think she's got like three spells to her name. So she's like an acolyte. She's only got four talent points and she knows five spells and five potions. I think it might be untamed where the resurrection spell lives. Dedeathify. Yeah, this one. It's not like the highest level one. So that, I mean, that's an option. We have cooking level eight and gourmet cooking level four. So again, an option. I haven't actually decided which means I'm going to go with. The wishing well would actually probably be quickest. But I also like the idea of fixing the house up and then like having it kind of be the end of the series. And the ones that are slower are more supportive of that. So here we go. Poppy's really smelly, but she's like, yeah, you know, why don't you come and live with us? Does Temperance like the gift? I mean, it's, she seems to, but it's hard to tell because she's very angry. Yeah, I gave her one of those My Sims dolls. Yep, you smell. So go have a shower. <gasps> she's thinking about babies. Oh, Temperance. Now let's have a look at her traits. So she's mean, romantic, and jealous. You can see how this got her in trouble with Gidri. Being jealous and also in a relationship with that particular sim, I think, would be a big problem. Now, I did, after I finished recording, I spent, because I noticed Samantha had finished her aspiration, so I switched her to a new one. 
And I've spent her, she had over 8,000 points. I bought her the Brave trait. I don't actually know if Temperance, being Temperance, is going to have these guys just be scared of her. Grace doesn't seem to be, like, in full-on panic mode or anything. It's actually Meaningful Stories that's making her mad. It'll be interesting to see if she gets randomly angry uh, or if now that she's in the family that will go away. Now, I also want to give her a makeover because I want to change her hair. And it'll be interesting to see what she looks like in cast too. <laughs> so I'm just, this is all for science, you guys. I'm very excited. Uh, express joy of life to the ghost. Oh, my Lord. It's like, hey, you know, well, oh, oh. <gasps> what a sim. Temperance just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment and found themselves staring, staring at grace. Cool, but also I was imagining the relationship would be between Poppy and Grace. <laughs> oh, Poppy and Temperance, I mean, not Grace and Temperance. I also don't think Grace is bisexual, so I think she might be a little bit out of luck there. Go to the bathroom. Oh, I wonder if Temperance being around is going to reduce all our bladder needs a heap. Oh, see, that's reset. But I've been having glitches with this moodlet anyway. Mood buff control. <sighs> Let's see. So temperance is a trait in here. That's how I would make her not be a ghost anymore. Uh, what I'm wondering, what? Pregnancy not showing? Is she pregnant? Oh, that's even more tea. How, oh my goodness. Is she pregnant with Gidry's baby? And then she... <gasps> Here we go. Inertia buff mood modifiers. That's the Roberki Meaningful Stories buff. But I was having this problem in my Medieval Legacy Challenge with one of my sims in that, that that trait was just repeatedly. So I don't know if that's a temperance thing. See, this is be Ghost Haunted House Temperance. That's the trait we'll remove when she is cured. I need to see if she's pregnant now. I've got more questions. I've got questions. And if she's, like, able to progress that pregnancy, she's pregnant with a little boy. With Poppy? Um, okay. So I did actually have them woohoo off screen. Poppy can't get, I'm very confused, you guys. See, Poppy can't get people pregnant. She can only become pregnant. She is a assigned female, cis female sim. She doesn't, she doesn't have the equipment. Temperance, I can't edit her because she's pregnant. She can't be pregnant. Hello, my name is Temperance. <laughs> Temperance, I always spell that wrong. How about Temperance Hook? I like the sound of that. Um, I'm just going to change her hair and I'm going to give her some eyelashes because it is mandatory. I'm very confused about what to do about that pregnancy. I'm going to pause it. I can see a few different options, you guys. There's the change it so that Gidri was the father and pause it. I actually kind of like that. One is just that I clear the pregnancy, chalk it up to a glitch, be very confused about the fact that two sims who can both get pregnant and can't impregnate others manage to make a baby. The reason I had them woohoo was actually a hookup, so it could be a mod glitch, was I was trying to see if I could get any romance with her and Poppy doesn't have romance with her. Like, there's actually no romance bar when I moused over her today. But again, that could be a side effect of the temperance thing. Like, I'm very confused. I like that hair. That's from luxury party stuff. It's got that kind of old-fashioned vibe that I think works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause this pregnancy and let me know what you think. Either she somehow got pregnant with Poppy's baby due to magic, wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff. She is currently pregnant with Gidri's baby and has been since she died because the baby is part of her ghostliness and I can actually change the father, maybe, because he's Gidri, so he might not work like it normally does. Or we clear the pregnancy and just say it was a glitch, it was an error and not kind of, we'll pretend, pretend we did not see it. I'm just curious. See, they, Poppy has a festering grudge to Temperance. That's new. Temperance also thinks Poppy's extremely attractive. Well, that's also interesting. Uh, I didn't do that. Now, 
I'm guessing the festering grudge is because they woohooed and then didn't get any romance. That makes sense to me. Upshot is Temperance is going to need her own bedroom. She's sure as heck not sharing a room with Poppy. Oh, honey, you're going to be permanently making vomit emojis and feeling morning sick. And I'm sorry about that. But yeah, try and calm down. You you do that. All right. Oh, your baby's awake. And this is another glitch we're experiencing, which is exciting. Yeah. Go change ta um, little Tara's nappy. Now, she ages up in two days, so I do anticipate... That'll be in this part. I'm going to have Poppy work on painting. And I guess I need Temperance to... Oh, she's vomited. Take pregnancy test. Oh, my God. I can't believe she's pregnant. And I can't believe she's pregnant with Poppy's baby. That makes no sense. Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> Temperance needs to figure out how she's going to financially contribute to the house. I mean, she's the ghost of the house. But yeah, we're going to we're going to need her to help. Oh, she's on the public enemy aspiration. Okay, it's a work in progress. I'm going to leave that for now. I feel like she needs to take steps towards becoming a better human before I take her off that. Do you know what I mean? All right. Uh let's see what skills she has. Medium level 5, that makes sense. Comedy guitar and fishing level 3. Oh, she sounds like she was a real sweetie. She's got some stuff that's at level one and really low level. She probably got all of these in game. So I would guess that's from her interacting with the objects and stuff in my house. So I'd say she probably just started with comedy, guitar and fishing. I feel like she was like a little, you know, she was a folk singer. She met a handsome guy at an event. They got together. She found out he was cheating on her. I'm just saying... I'm saying that it's a thing. I know. They're bees. They do that. Okay. So I've removed meaningful stories to see if it makes a difference. I don't know that it's the mod. I think it might be just temperance being temperance because she doesn't have any angry moodlets and she's still furious. So that's nice. I'm just having Poppy actually give her another gift. Now, hopefully she'll really appreciate this one. We'll see how we go. She's really happy. Yes, we gave you a guitar because I thought, you know, she used to be super into guitars and stuff. Don't hit the cat. <laughs> I'm going to have to lock the door to put um, Samantha's room so Temperance isn't just like in there. It's okay. I know. The place can be messy. <gasps> Stop fighting. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, I want you guys to be a couple. <laughs> I'd settle for them just being housemates, honestly. I just, you know, it's a vibe that we're going for now in our haunted house. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. I like that it's a bit difficult and it's a an additional challenge to go on top of my challenges. But I'm guessing they have, yeah, they both have festering grudges now. Okay. So I do need Poppy to... Poppy wants to help Temperance. She sees herself in Temperance. She sees the betrayal by a past lover and she sees, you know, I mean, Poppy's not jealous, but she's got that history. Or well, Hers is in the form of Don Lothario, but let's face it, Gidry is just an old fashioned version of Don Lothario. It's the same guy. So she wants to help Temperance be better and do better. And I think even though she's currently kind of annoyed at her, she's determined. She's not going to kick her out of what used to be her family home. You know, she's like, no, she has the right to be here as well. But what I'm actually, I'm going to be a bit sneaky. I'm going to, Temperance's room is going to be the seance room. We'll obviously have to move the seance table so there's room for a bed and stuff. But I'm going to do an emotional painting, put it in there and activate it. Not this one. I only had the idea after she started this one. So maybe like an ins I don't think you can do an inspired painting, but I'll have a look. If there's one that's just like happy or confident, I know, think there's a confident one and we'll put it in her room and activate it. <laughs> maybe she'll be happier when she gets out of bed in the morning. Now, because Temperance has a pause pregnancy, her bladder need is going to go down like really quickly. Oh, the cat's singing along. Now, I have got a couple of paintings I've put on Plopsy because they will obviously sell for more on Plopsy than they sell for if I just sell them. But I'm going to have some that I just sell as well because Plopsy is a bit fickle. I can't decide if it's just Samantha that is brave or if Grace should have the trait as well. I think I'm going to buy it for her if she can afford it. But I had Temperance come up to her room to play guitar 
Yeah, little Samantha was like, that's where I'm going to do my homework. And then Grace was like, that's where I'm going to eat my food. Although, Grace, your baby's crying. Oh, she doesn't like the music. I don't think she was doing that badly. Anyway, come and look after this baby. How many points have you got? She doesn't have enough yet. She still needs to discipline her toddler child or teen five times. She's done it three. You know, she just needs about 1,200 points. So Samantha's just left for school and Poppy's come in to have a chat to Grace about the whole situation with temperance. She's explaining why she asked her to move in as well. And Grace is like, well, that's fine. But obviously, you know, she's a little bit volatile. I know. Look, I understand. But I just really want to help her. Now, Grace is hacking right now. But I don't think Poppy knows computers well enough to know what she's looking at. So Grace has figured out she can just do this and Poppy won't know. Grace is a little bit more understanding of Temperance being a bad girl, I think, than Poppy is in a way because she's, like, got her own little bad girl streak. She's asking for Grace's help. She knows Grace is a spellcaster and she's like, look, is there anything you can think of we can do to help her come back? You know, her life was stolen from her and that's not fair. Grace is telling her about the rumours of a magical food that can bring ghosts back. And Poppy's like, well, I can look into that. And Grace is like, well, there are some things I can look into as well, like on my side of the house, I guess. So I was going to have Grace attempt to level up her untamed magic, and we'll see. You never know. She might get lucky. But she's got to finish her actual work first. So I was going to have her practice untamed magic when she's done what she's doing now. And Poppy, conveniently, when I had her cook some food, she made omelettes, she got to level nine cooking. So I do need to figure out what I need for Ambrosia. Grace is definitely, she's happy to help. I think she's a little bit worried about the effects of having a volatile personality like Temperance. Oh, honey, you need a bed. Oh, I suppose I could just buy you a bed. We do have enough money for that. So she has a bed now. I'm not going to do anything else yet. I wanted to save up, but I will assign this to her. I can't assign it to her. I'll just tell her to go to bed. It's fine. It's the same as Grim. Like you can't call Grim up on your phone and invite him over. It's the same thing. I'm going to have Poppy work a little bit more on painting. Like I want her to save up a bit of money so we can do a proper makeover. I was thinking for something for Temperance to focus on that I might get her working on writing. I'm not going to have her use a computer. doesn't seem realistic, but I do have a mod that I downloaded for Medieval Legacy, which is a typewriter. It works like a computer, but it's a typewriter. So I figured I'd have her, you know, she gets a typewriter and she's clicky clacking out, you know, picture books for kids. <laughs> so awesome. I think the other problem we're going to have imminently is where I'm going to put the baby because she's about to age up tomorrow. So we just don't have a room. I don't think I want to put her in with Samantha. Don't, don't be doing your homework in Temperance's room. Find somewhere else, Samantha, honestly. She keeps going back to this table. She loves it. I can either go the extension here. Or alternatively, the other option is actually Poppy gives up her craft room. But it seems weird to me to put the baby in this tiny little room downstairs away from her mum and her sister. So I'm kind of inclined towards putting a bedroom here. So that's the other thing I'm going to have to save up for. And I'm going to have to save up for it pretty quick. Go to the bathroom and lock the door. If you hear anything run, are you listening? I'm going to say no. Do you know why? Because I have bigger problems in this house. Honestly, this this lady here will protect us. She is fearsome. <laughs> or maybe she's the thing we're hiding in the bathroom from. So, yeah, I'm basically going to have these guys work on grinding out some money because I need to get a desk and a typewriter minimum for her. But I also am supposed to finish her room upgrade before I start a new one. So Temperance just drifted past Grace and Grace did get the negative moodlet. Even though Temperance is not actually angry at the moment, I cheekily had her start practicing her writing skill just on Grace's computer, but Grace's computer is overclocked. So she's currently focused because she's got the overclocked buff and honestly tempted to overclock her, uh, her typewriter when I buy it, I'm not going to lie. But 
Yeah, she drifted past Grace and Grace got the temperance buff. Phantom Invader. So she's now very scared. So you guys, we ended up with a second temperance already. So I'd say that's actually who Grace was reacting to. I just made her leave because I was like, I can't handle that. My brain will not compute. But yes, we have a second temperance kicking around. So can we... Sh oh! This is why you list things on Plopsy, you guys. Look, this thing retails for 2800 But if I do this, 9000 Yep. Don't you dare gift one of our highly overpriced paintings to this ghost. Give it a horse sculpture. All right, you guys, given that we now have 14,000 Smolians, thanks to the sale of one painting, I'm going to give this room a makeover. I, it's time, it's happening, and then we might have a little bit over to actually set up a room for the toddler, which will be so exciting. All right, you guys, I finished the makeover for Temperance's room. You come down the little corridor, that's Samantha's room up the end on the left, and you come in here, and the first thing you see is this little, it's actually a dresser, but... I had to use a CC dresser because the game doesn't have any nice single tile dresses and I didn't have a lot of space. I'm actually thinking this will be where I, if I need to put a sacred candle in here to perhaps calm temperance down, I'll pop that on that table. So that's why that's there. Then we come in and we've got a little mirror. We've got her little workstation with her typewriter on it. I got her a nice little painting. This is all about serenity, but also red it does appear to be her colour. So, you know, we've got the table with probably a drink Samantha's left on here. I'm actually thinking I'm going to have to lock Samantha out of this room because she just keeps coming in. And then for Temperance's bed, we have some nice little side tables. The painting Poppy did her, which doesn't really fit the vibe of the room as well. But, you know, we've got the curtains that came with the param Paranormal Stuff Pack because I figure aesthetically it goes. And this painting came with that pack as well. And according to the description, it is the photo of the place Temperance lived. So I figure it could be a house that has sentimental value to her. It's an expensive painting. It's worth 1400 So that's her room. I think it's very cute. But yeah, we're going to add an extra room here for little Tara. I keep wanting to call her Dana. I don't know why. All right, I'll get back to you guys again shortly. All right, you guys, I've got a little room for Tara set up as well. Super cute little room. Now, I downloaded some panda Sama cc and i know they made a bunk bed but i only seem to have the child bunk bed i don't seem to have gotten the toddler bunk bed so i've given little tara her sister's bed i've just put new linens on it but i've gone for more of a green kind of theme for tara samantha's was variously yellow and like aqua kind of blue because of her changing eye colors which i fully expect tara will do the same but we've got a little, this is Panda Sama CC. I haven't tested it yet, but it's a little trampoline. There are two sizes of that. This is a kitchen the kids can, and to, kids and toddlers can actually play with, like a chef's kitchen style toy kitchen, which I'm very excited about. That's obviously standard, I think, eco lifestyle dollhouse and another one tile dresser with some toys on it, which is very cute. And I put a light down in that little nook just because obviously it was quite dark in there from the outside I'll just show you guys this is what it looks like I don't think it looks that bad like it's obviously an extension but I don't think it looks too bad Tara's rooms are smaller than Samantha's but that's that's kind of just how it is really isn't it in terms of room makeovers we've got to do the lounge room I need to somebody broke my toilet I need to sort of do the hallways and stuff because at the moment they're all basically blank we've got this room and then that's all the rooms in the house and then we've got to do the exterior which is going to be a big job i feel like in terms of the actual fixer upper challenge we're getting close to being done i have no real sense of how long this part has been because i've had to restart the game twice I've like, because once obviously removing a mod to test what was going on with Temperance and the other time because I wanted to install the CC I had already downloaded. I just hadn't installed it yet because I am a champion like that. I, I, I don't know. I've kind of lost track of how long I've been recording for, but I'd love to hear from you guys about this situation. And yes, I'm specifically circling her stomach. I need to decide what we're going to do with this pregnancy. Do we say it's Gidry's? We keep it with it being Poppy and blame magic 
noting that they have no actual romantic relationship, which is the whole reason I had them woohoo in the first place. The third option, obviously, is I clear the pregnancy. Partly I'm, like, horrified at the idea of having another sim in the house. I feel like five plus a cat is plenty. Either way, I'm not super keen to kind of keep her pregnant because pregnancy, obviously, has big negative impacts on the sim. I don't want to keep it paused forever, is what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, let me know. Oh, actually, I was going to age up Tara, wasn't I? I did say it is, her, is actually her birthday. So we'll do that. That'll be the very last thing we do. Oh, yes. Someone's buying something for me on Plopsy. 7,600 simoleons, as if painting weren't enough of a money spinner. She's feeling scared. So I'm going to age up my baby, but I'm really, really scared. Grace is getting a little bit curvier, it's fair to say. Two pregnancies. You'd think all the running around she does when she's scared would be enough, but apparently not. All right, Todrick has sent a gift for his daughter. Inquisitive, sure, let's go with that. Oh, look at her. Oh, she, no, see, those eyes are a bit much. It's funny, I think they're the same eyes that her sister aged up with. Is it just the stare that's bothering me? I will give her a makeover. The eyes will inevitably change colours when I go into create a sim. They always do. Let's give this little one a makeover. So your eyes are currently gold. Let's see your teeth. I feel like you've got a tooth thing happening. You do. So I'm going to fix that. And I'd like to give her eyelashes and stuff. Let's just take the hair off. I mean, she seems pretty cute. I feel like Todrick has given us a cute baby there. I know Todrick, from watching Lady Sweetheart, I know she had a kid with Todrick who ended up being, like, legend. And... A handsome young man so i think he has good genetics so i'm part way through her makeover and her eyes have changed color and conveniently i had a green filter on the clothes and i don't know if that has anything to do with it but they've become green which was the color i'd already picked for her so i swear i didn't change it i just want to let you guys know so this is i've done her every day already and this is the hair i've gone with and i was just doing her formal wear and her eyes changed i think i mean she's cute as a button and I like that the game's decided to roll with what I went with. It's possible by the end of this makeover that they'll be different again. Let's see how we go. So they stayed green. That's interesting. We've got a little bedtime outfit. She's a little froggo. We've got party wear. I still, she is very cute. I know they say that about every toddler ever, but I do feel like good genetics are at play here. This is her hot weather gear. I was debating giving her a hat. But I think the toddler hats are mostly pretty gross. I mean, I guess that's okay. It's like a puppy dog. And the yellow goes with her shirt, so that's cute. And then we have a snowy escape winter kind of ski thing. All right, you guys, this is our cute little bean in game. Still has green eyes and has decided to go and talk to the cat. No, she's just going for a walk. I do love her. She's probably gone to her sister's room. Yeah. Typical younger sister is all I have to say. Temperance, when I loaded up, was in the middle of destroying things. So that's nice. Honey, you don't, you don't have to. Can I try and fix it? I know there's a way you can fix it as a ghost. I have seen it done. Ghostly repair. There we go. That's the one I wanted. So she can actually fix the things that she breaks in the plumbing. So who knew? Ghosts have the repair function. So I'm actually, I'll pause it here just so that I don't, you know, lose track of this toddler and then have her taken away from me. But I'm actually going to end this part here with this cutie who complicated my life by being conceived via what means that I did not think would get her pregnant. <laughs> it's fine. You know, I'm, I'm not complaining. She is very cute. I am a little bit nervous of the idea of having temperance having another kid. Like, where would we put them? Anyway, for your consideration, I'll go with whatever you guys think. However, I'm going to wrap this up here. If you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe. You know the drill. Don't forget to wash your hands and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.